Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about photoelectric effect. When the electromagnetic radiation of sufficient energy fall on a metal surface, some electrons from the surface gets ejected, known as photoelectrons. And current produced by this photoelectrons are known as photocurrent and this phenomenon is known as photoelectric effect. To understand in detail, let's consider an experiment. To perform such experiment, we need a vacuum tube, an emitter, a battery and some connecting wires and we need a rosted which I have not shown in this picture to make this simple. Now let's understand the working of each component. Vacuum tube is used for provide insulating, I am sorry, conducting medium as we know gases are bad conductor of electricity so here vacuum tube is used two electrodes are used one electrode is used for uh, provide surface for photo emission and here second is used to attract attract the emitted electrons as we can see easily here this electrode is connected to the posit positive terminal of battery so emitted electrons uh, will be uh, attracted to this electrode and emitter is used to measure the photo current and here here a rosted rosted is used to vary the potential difference between the electrons let us see on which all factors photo current depends photo current depends upon the potential difference between two electrodes intensity of incident light and frequency of incident light and it depends upon also the type of metal used as the surface understand the variation of photoelectric effect with respect to potential difference, we will have to keep other quantities such as intensity and frequency of light and type of metal constant. As the potential difference between electrodes increases, the force of attractions on emitted electrons and rate of flow of electrons increases resulting in increase and the variation of intensity. We will have to understand the meaning of intensity of light. Generally, when you increase the intensity of light, you are increasing the number of photons per second. And obviously, if number of photons increases, the ejection of electrons will increase, resulting in increase of current. But one thing should be noted, that each photon should carry at least energy equal to work function of metal surface. Work function is the minimum energy required to eject out electrons from surface. Intensity does not affect the stopping potential. The stopping potential is the minimum retarding potential at which photo current becomes zero. To find the potential difference, we decrease we decrease the potential difference of electrodes. We keep decreasing and keep de decreasing in negative also until photo current becomes zero, and this potential is known as stopping. As I have told already that to examine the variation of current with respect to one thing, we will have to keep others constant as frequency above threshold frequency increases, the stopping potential also increases. Threshold frequency is the minimum frequency below which photo emission is not possible. Now let us see the variation of photo current with respect to metal used. Photo current also depends upon the photo metal used. If the metal have less work function, it will result more current. If it it have more work function, it will result in less photo current. Let us see the observations of this experiment. The rate of photo emission is directly proportional to intensity of incident radiation. Kinetic energy of emitted photoelectron is independent of intensity. Kinetic energy of emitted photoelectron is directly proportional to the frequency of incident radiation. Photo emission takes place only above a certain frequency called threshold frequency. There is no time lag between the incidence of radiation and emission of photoelectron. What it means? It means that 
as the photon falls on the metal surface suddenly photo emission takes place there is no time lag but there, there is no difference uh, difference of time between the photo emission and the falling of photons on the surface of metal